search committee um, that encompassed, uh, I remember, uh, uh, a few of the guys from various uh, franchises. And uh, uh, we set about looking for somebody, and we had a lot of good candidates, but they were all from big companies with very little experience in the sports world, and certainly not any experience in what we were going through at the time, which was another lockout like this, yep. or another, another work stoppage. So I went and I met with uh, David Stern, the commissioner of the NBA, and he and I talked at some length, and he said, look, you know, if you want to solve this problem, uh, I think you might want to consider hiring somebody from with, with, within the NBA, although I'm not happy about it, but you might as well ask. So I did, and uh, I, I met with Gary Bettman. I realized for that time and that moment and the circumstances we were going through, I thought he was the right guy. I introduced him to the other members of the search committee. They realized once they spoke to him and, and, and knew his you know, substantial knowledge of the sports world and especially the issues that we were going through with labor, uh, he was the only obvious candidate at the time, and uh, and once we presented him to the board, he was uh, unanimously elected. Let me ask a couple of questions because there's some legend to this. Did you or did you not offer Stern the job? I did. And he turned you down? Yep. Yep. Uh, in fact, he he kidded me about that. I saw him about a month ago at a, at a party. <laughs> we were talking about it, and he reminded me. He said, you remember you offered me that job? I said, I did. I did. I do remember. And, uh, yes, I did offer him the job. And he said, you know, I want to stay at the NBA. This is where I really belong. But, you know. Or ask, did, or ask about Granick? I, I asked about Granick. It was There were two lieutenants of David Stearns. One was Granick and one was Bettman. And he said, Granick is, uh, is, is not right for you, number one. Number two is I'm grooming him for, to be my successor. So he's off the table, but Bettman is, uh, would be fine. He said, go talk to Gary. He's a lawyer. He knows what he's doing. So you can talk to Gary. So he gave you permission to talk to Bettman. Bruce, uh, how would you measure Gary's success in the job? And his, Was he the right guy at the right time, and is he the right guy now? Well, I, I certainly believe he was the right guy at the right time at that point in time. And, um, and uh, you know, for the beginning of the era, era that I was involved in, which was basically um, the so-called expansion era, for good or bad, it was something that myself and Gretzky and so forth really thought would help build the league into, a, into something uh, bigger than it was. Uh, and that hasn't apparently worked terribly well. But at that time, I thought Gary was the right guy for that role as well. He was, I think, and I think he was effective in helping me at least get Disney and uh, Blockbuster and some of their major companies involved at that time. Uh, and Gary ultimately responds to what owners want. You know, we can all blame Gary for work stoppage or for this or that. Or the other thing. The bottom line is, he's doing their bidding. You know, he's the front man for it, and he's obviously doing what they want. And uh, at the moment, this is what apparently the owners want. With Bruce McDowell, uh, the former chairman of the board of the uh, National Hockey League and owner of the uh, Los Angeles Kings, a man who um, acknowledges he hired uh, Gary Bettman uh, 20 years ago today, in essence was his first day, Bettman's first day on the job. 